Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Um, I'm just going to start showing you Microsoft Word 2010 and some of the very basic uh, things that you need to know. First of all, I've opened up Microsoft uh, Word here um, and this is a document just to save me doing some typing later on. And in the document I have here um, just a picture of a keyboard so that you can see what I'm talking about. Very basics I'm going to start with. So I'm just clicking here and you'll notice my cursor. The cursor is that flashing line there that I'm pointing at here. Um, and the cursor shows you where you're currently working. Now, I'm going to start with the very basics. I want to show you how to type in uh, capital letters. Um, so a basic letter, you just click, for example, on the letter A here. So I'm going to type in an A and I end up getting a small A. If I want to get a capital A, I, I use the shift key. That's this key here on your keyboard. I want to point out to you, you should never really be using the caps lock key. So this caps lock here, as far as you're concerned, it doesn't exist. So never use the caps lock. What you do is you hold down the shift key, keep it pressed down, and then tap the letter A. So I'm holding down the shift key on my keyboard here, and I'm tapping the letter A, and I get a capital A. So just practice that again a few times. So for example, a small B is just B by itself. Hold down shift and the B, and then let go. Um, and I get a capital B. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is to um, understand how I move about the screen. One of the ways I can do that is by clicking with my mouse. So if, for example, I wanted to move here, I would just move my mouse in here, and then to move that cursor into this position, I then click with the left button, button not the button, the left button of my mouse in between the two words, and when I click, and let go, you'll notice that the cursor is now in that position. Another way to move around, sorry, that's just an error message. Uh, another way to move around um, is to use the four arrow keys here on your keyboard, okay? So this one obviously moves you up and down, left and right, okay? So on my keyboard here, I'm just pressing the up arrow key and you can see it brings the up and down arrow key and then left and right. Now, as you can see, as I'm moving along this keyboard, or this uh, sentence, it's quite slow. It'll kind of get a bit irritating to get to the end. Another way to move within the document is to use these keys in here. So the home key here will bring me to the start of the current line, and the end key will move me to the end of the current line. Control, that's C C T R L control, or over here, either one will do. So I hold down control and then I tap the home key. So I'm holding down control, I'm tapping the home key, and then I let go control. That brings me to the very, very beginning of the document. And if I have a 10 page document, if I do control and end, so hold down control and tap end, it brings me to the end of my document, which in this case is just beyond this picture that I inserted. Okay, so I'm gonna just move back up here. I'm gonna click with my mouse to move me back up here. Um, another little thing that I often use is control and the arrow keys. So control and left arrow moves me along a word at a time. So if I move down here, control and right arrow, you can see zips me along quite quickly um, along the actual text. Okay, so that's moving around. Again, another very basic um, idea is if I want to get rid of information. One of the things I can do is I can select it by clicking and dragging and then press delete here, this delete key here on my keyboard, and it disappears. Um, to undo something like that, I can use the undo button up here, this little roundy button up here. So if I press undo, it undoes the last thing I did. Um, on your keyboard, you've got backspace and you've got delete. And a lot of people think that they are exactly the same. They're similar, um, but they work in opposite directions. So if I place my cursor here between the backspace and the delete, if I use the backspace button, in this case, this keyboard actually says the word backspace. Sometimes it just is an arrow, but it's always in this position here. Um, if I press the backspace button, it works in a leftward direction. And if I, and I'll just go to backspace. Now you'll notice the word delete is to the right of the cursor. If I use the delete key here, then it gets rid of the word delete. Okay. The next thing to be aware of is the um, how to move things down onto new lines. And to be able to see what we're doing, I'm going to display um, my carriage returns by pressing this button up here. Now, this shows me that at some point I pressed enter, which is this button here, um, or this button over here. They're exactly the same, enter or enter over here. 
Um, and you'll notice also it displays my spaces. So these are the non-printing characters. So you'll see it says 13 space, that's what that dot means, main space street space. Okay. So if we wanted, for example, to move Killy Beggs onto a new line and County Donegal onto a new line, etc., we're going to click in here just before uh, the word Killy Beggs and I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. Sometimes it says the word enter, sometimes it's sort of a unusual shaped um, key, sort of a slightly bent key in there, but it's always above the shift key here. Okay, so I'm going to press enter on my keyboard and I'm going to move along here to county and I'm pressing enter, county Donegal, and then move along to Ireland and press enter again. Now you'll notice that these carriage returns are appearing on your screen. They show you that um, it's telling the computer to move on to a new line. If I wanted to bring all of this address back up onto the same line, all I need to do is to get rid of these carriage returns. So if I click in here, if I get rid of this carriage return, then Killy Beggs will appear on the same line as 3, 13 Main Street. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do, as the carriage return is to the right of the cursor, I'm going to use the delete key. Okay. So I'm going to press delete on my keyboard and Killy Beggs appears up. I'm going to move to the end of my line by pressing the end button and pressing delete. And you can see it's moving them back up onto the same line. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to select um, text. Uh, now you select text for a number of reasons. For example, you might want to get rid of it. Uh, you might want to change the color of it. You might want to move it. Um, you might want to put on some sort of formatting, etc. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to select the words Main Street, one of the ways you can do it is by clicking and dragging with your mouse. And that's probably a method you've seen before. So, for example, to select county, I click and drag with my mouse. Another way with, when you're using your mouse is to double click a word. So if I double click on the word Donegal or double click Killy Beggs, you'll notice that the whole word becomes selected. With your mouse, another method that's very useful is to move out into the margin. Now, normally when you're clicking up here into the um, toolbar or the ribbon up here, your mouse is a white arrow slightly pointing to the left. When you move out into the margin of your Word document, you'll notice it's a white arrow but slightly pointing to the right. So if I click like that, you'll notice it selects the whole sentence. And I find that a very useful method of selecting a whole line in Microsoft Word. So that's the way you can select with a mouse. There are other methods, but they're the main ways that you can do it with a mouse. Um, again, you can do it on the keyboard. So, for example, if I press the home key, as we saw earlier, it moves me to the start of the current line. If I hold down the shift key, that's this one here, or this one over here, I hold down shift and I use my arrow keys here, tap, 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 you can see I select the text as I move across it. Okay, So I can do any sort of movement uh, I like, and as long as I hold down the shift key, it will select as I move. So if I press the home key and I hold down shift and the end key, shift and end, it selects to the end of the line. If I press end by itself, it moves me to the end of the line. So for example, shift and the left arrow key, shift and left arrow, sorry, shift control and left arrow, moves me along quite quickly along the sentence. And again, this doesn't just work in Microsoft Word, it works on the internet or wherever it is you're trying to select um, text. Okay, this is the end of the first video.